morning everyone. I'd like to share some thoughts and maybe a little bit of scripture with you today. Um, growing up I never was a, I wasn't ever a child that liked to read the books and I would look out the windows in school lots of times and daydream. Matter of fact one of the, the report cards my mom kept uh, over the years, I think it was second or third grade, I had two different teachers report cards as Sherwin has a tendency to daydream or Sherwin doesn't concentrate and uh, most of the time I was busy watching what other people had done and the results that they that came from their life or their actions and that could be a plus or maybe a minus but uh, one of the greatest devotions that we had in our men's group at church was by uh, Coach Hugh Dunn, and uh, I was lucky enough, I, I picked up one of the pamphlets after he got done with the devotion, and it even has a picture of the old uh, the football field before it's had so many changes, maybe before it was named Hugh Dunn Field, but, um, and I've even got copies of it if someone wants to uh, get that from me. And I've shared it again with the men's group a few times, but uh, he's, a, he's a man that I don't know real well. And of course, I didn't grow up in this community, have him as a coach and so forth, but I've always admired and uh, loved what he stand for. And uh, he's a humble person and he uh, gave his whole life and career to his country and to his students and the community and uh, it kind of breaks my heart to see him be in the nursing home now and especially limit visitors and as of all the older people that's in there but <clears throat> well, the last few weeks we've uh, some of the biggest Bible verses that, that I uh, like is, of course it was uh, First Corinthians 13 that I shared with you a few weeks back and then the other one is the one in Galatians that Carl just read a day or two ago when I was watching devotions that that uh, about uh, that was our fruit the fruit of the Spirit and to me it's all about results my mother used to say pretty is as pretty does and I know we can be deceived sometimes but the uh, devotion that Coach uh, shared with us that day, and the, I guess he gave the, these pamphlets out to some of the uh, athletes and students he had over the years, <clears throat> but uh, it has a, a poem here, The Man in the Glass. When you get what you want in your struggle for self, and the world makes you king for a day, just go to a mirror and look at yourself and see what that man has to say. For it isn't your father, your mother, or your wife who judgment upon you must pass. The fellow whose verdict counts the most in your life is the one staring back at you in the glass. Some people might think you're a straight shirt shooting chum and call you a wonderful guy. But the man in glass says you're only a bum if you can't look him straight in the eye. He's a fellow to please, never mind all the rest, for he's with you clear up to the end. And you've passed your most dangerous, difficult test if the man in the glass is your friend. You may fool the whole world down the pathway of years and get, get pats on the back as you pass, but your final reward will be heartache and tears if you've cheated the man in the glass. And uh, another uh, little saying he has at the bottom is, I am only one, but I am one. I can't do everything, but I can do something. That which I can do, I ought to do. And that which I ought to do, by God's grace, I can do. Yes, I'm only one, but I am one created in the image of God and with the ability to act and think and to do. Be proud of who you are, what you are, and do something with it. 
And his Bible verse suggested uh, at the bottom is Galatians 6, 4 to 5. And uh, I'm going to read a little more than 4 to 5 because I think it helps the context of it. I'll start at, at Galatians 6. Brethren, brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Look to yourself, lest you too be tempered, bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something, when he is nothing, he deserves, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own work, and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor. For each man will have to bear his own load. God bless you and have a good day.